Greetings, Rocketeers! This is your Toy Commander! And are you guys ready for today's mission? And today's video is intended for... Yes! Play only! Great. That's far enough, Green Goblin! Give up now! Oh, I don't think so, Spider-Man. You think you've defeated me? Well, think again. I'll see you around the block, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Alright guys, it's time for today's segment on Planet Sizzle I call Fun Facts About Outer Space with Ooh, the Toy yeah. Commander. Alright, this is something that's kind of interesting that I just recently found out that I didn't know, I was unaware of. Do you know that if you have two pieces of the same type of metal that touch in outer space, they will bond and be permanently stuck together in outer space. That Now that doesn't happen on Earth is because this amazing effect is called cold welding. This happens because the atoms of the individual pieces of metal have no way of knowing that they are different pieces of metal. So the lumps the join means. together. Reason why it won't happen on Earth because there is air and there is water that separates the pieces of metal. Yeah, so don't get two pieces of the same metal in outer space and put them together. No. Because they'll stick. Oh no! Alright guys, on to today's video. That's right, it's time for some superhero action and some villain action too. Because we have these new things called Marvel Stunt Squad. Awesome! That's right, we have three of these smaller sets and then one big one in the back. Now we have Captain America versus Red Skull. And right here in the middle we have Iron Man versus MODOK. You don't see MODOK that much, but I do hear, I haven't seen the new Ant-Man, Quantumania, but I hear he's in that movie. And then Spider-Man versus Venom. Who doesn't love Venom? Now I really enjoyed the two Venom movies, the first one in Let there be carnage. I need more. Brains and flesh to eat. Give me flesh. And we also have this big one in the back. This is a giant one. And this one here is Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. So, now I don't know how many there are to collect in the smaller series. Now on the back it says also look for, but those are the larger series. Now there's four different sets with these. In the smaller kits, I don't know how many there are, but maybe inside we'll find out with a collector's guide. Alright, let's get these unboxed. There's some really nice artwork on the side and the back. But let's take it to the other table, unbox all these, and start doing some of the stunts with superheroes. Alright guys, here we are We're getting a closer look at some of this really nice artwork on these boxes. Now this little one here, this one's called, this is the Spider-Man versus Venom. Cool. And on the side it says plastic free packaging. And here's the actual size of your little figures. And right down the bottom says, also look for these other sets too. So lots to collect on this series, the Stunt Squad series. What does it say over here? So it just says Spider-Man versus Venom. And that's how you play. It looks like you smash your figure into Venom and defeat him. You know what it reminds me of, guys? I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Million Warriors, but they look like these little things right here. Tiny little figures. Actually, they're probably about the same size and you launch them with various launchers like this and you try to defeat and knock down the other warriors. Kind of the same concept. Uh, this is Hasbro and then the Million Warriors are, I think, Spin Master. Now this one here is uh, Iron Man versus MODOK. This is Captain America versus Red Skull. Let's take a quick look at this big one here. Check it out. Now this one's Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. And here's the top, it says Kaboom. Looks like a little cartoon series right there. Actual size, but right here also look for those. Those are the other sets I was mentioning earlier. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start out first with this one right here. Spider-Man versus Venom. Right, so they come packaged in this little tissue paper, which is really neat. And we have some decals, cool. It says Stunt Squad, and then there's Spider-Man's face what is this no collector's guide this is just some mumbo jumbo we don't need that let's take them out of the tissue paper this is our venom and i guess half of the launcher 
Here's our little Spider-Man. Actually, they're a good size. They're a little bit bigger uh, than the Million Warriors. Let's take out Venom now. Let's check him out. Ooh, there's Venom, yeah. Give me some more flesh. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, let's get these things set up. Now, there's no directions on how to set it up. I'm supposed to just guess? I mean, come on, guys. Uh, let's look at the picture on the box and just try to copy what it is, all right? So this is right so far. And then you have this back piece right here that looks like maybe this will go in like that. See that little sleeve in the back? It slides right in like that. Watch this, see? Fits perfectly right in here. And then this is the launcher. So let's put Venom right on his little area right here. There's a slot right in the back and there's a peg right there. So he goes right on like that. Wait a minute, get back there. So you put him on like that, right? And then I guess you just pull back. Oh, defeat on the first shot. This sticker will go one right here like this. Then one on the other side. Double sticker it up. Bingo! Now this little one here, I don't know where this goes. Let's see, let me look at the box. We'll find out where the little sticker goes. Uh-oh! Okay, the little sticker goes right here on the bottom of the base. Nice! Right there like that. So you just set this back up real easily. Put it in like that. So let's put them back on. Let's go way back over here. Okay, Spider-Man, you got a long way to go, but... Oh, took him out. And I have one more sticker, that's right. All right, that's Venom and Spider-Man. All right, guys, now we're gonna open up... Captain America. Versus... Red Skull. This little army tank, cool. All right, let's take these two out. So we have Captain America sticker and then the stunt squad and that's we don't need. Let's see the colors of this one. Oh nice. Here's a little cannon we got to put together. Let's take out our characters. All right there's Red Skull. They're made out of like a rubber see so they're not plastic. And then here's our Captain America right here. Nice and colorful in the red, white, and blue. Now I believe this goes together the same exact way. The tank will put together right here like this. Let's see, yep, that just goes in loosely and then the cannon will go right, I think, like this. Let's set up the blue base. We'll go like that. All right, now let's put on some stickers real quick. All right, so here's the tank for Red Skull all set up. And then let's uh, put this behind the tank because this is what's going to be hit and smash the tank. All right, now we have our launcher and then we have these two guys ready to battle. All right, guys. That's far enough, Red Skull. Yeah, I don't think so, Captain America. First, you need to defeat me and I'm heading over to my tank. So good luck with that. I'll just climb on my launcher and defeat you. Captain America right here on the back. He's ready to launch and then we'll put... Oh boy, I just smashed Red Skull's tank. Let's try to put it back together real quick. All right, Red Skull. Now we need to hit that blue emblem right here with the a logo for Captain America to defeat him. So let me raise the camera up a little. And let's go, Captain America, and... That was pathetic. Let's go, Captain America. God, he just knocked over the box. What? All right, let's move back a little bit here, all the way back here. Oh, that's good enough. You didn't hit this, it's supposed to hit that, and it smashes open. Last one we have is Iron Man reporting for duty, sir. Versus Modoc with that giant head. <laughs> Here's our stickers. We have just one Iron Man in the aim. That's the advanced idea mechanics. Let's get this set up, and then we have some stunt squad and another stunt squad. 
All right, let's take out all this fun stuff. Ooh, look at the bright orange, yellow, and gray. Let's see, we got our characters now. Whoa, look at how big his head is. He's huge. He's gonna be tough to take down. I don't know, Iron Man, he looks kind of big. Are these pencil toppers too? Yes. It has a little area to stick the eraser in right there. I guess MODOK can go on the back like that. All right, Iron Man, it's time to get to work and take him down. Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. Let's see that in slow motion. Boy, that was a perfect hit on that one. Nice job, Iron Man. All right, let's put this one away. We'll put Iron Man back on the launcher and let's take a look at this big one back here. Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. All right, so it is way bigger. Look at all those cool stickers. Awesome. And then what else do we have? Oh, we have some instructions. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Finally. Yippee. And let's check out the rest of this stuff. Okay, these are just more pieces. And then we have our other figure right here, the Green Goblin. All right, so there's our two figures, the Green Goblin. You can't really see the face because the Green Goblin's looking down, but there's the face. All right, there's Spider-Man. It actually looks just like the other one, but it looks like his outfit is a little bit different. As you can see, this one's kind of like you know, shiny, and this one's just a regular flat blue, but they're the exact same size. All right, guys, so let's start by putting the stickers all over these pieces from Oscorp, and let's get this launcher all set yeah, up with all the stickers on. See how much better it looks. Install this Oscorp right there like that. All right, this crane will go around the side. Actually, we can put it out front. And let's put together the rest. You can turn it all the way up to the top like that. All right, so Oscorp is all set up. No, wait a minute, we gotta put the actual radio antenna at the top. Now we also have these barrels. Let's just put a couple barrels here, one there. All right, so you can put the Green Goblin um, right here on this area. And then you go like this, put Spider-Man on his launcher. Now it recommends that you are about 30 centimeters from the actual Oscorp. So let's go ahead and launch Spider-Man, see what he does. Whoa, cool. That's far enough, Green Goblin. Give up now. Oh, I don't think so, Spider-Man. You think you've defeated me? Well, think again. I'll see you around the block, friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. Where's that pesky Green Goblin? Over here, Spider-Man. All right, Green Goblin. It's time for your demise. Oh, down he goes. Take that, Green Goblin. Oopsie oops, I fell on my head, ow! Also, if you guys, if you hit that Spider-Man mark right at the top here, it should swing this crane around, and that's a tough shot, but let's try. In the first try, he does it! That was cool. All right, guys, here's a look at all the sets we got today. There's Spider-Man with Venom, and then we have the Oscorp Tower with the Green Goblin and Spider-Man. Over here we have MODOK right there with AIM and Iron Man. And then on the end we have our Red Skull with Captain America. All right kids, that's it for today's video with the Marvel Stunt Squad action sets. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Smash the like button. And come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.